I'm gonna show you live how to create a six figure Amazon FBA business right here during this stream. So the first thing you're gonna do when starting your Amazon FBA business is go to sellercentral.amazon.com. This is how you're gonna sign up for an Amazon seller account. You need to have a seller account to be able to sell products on Amazon, but it's very easy to sign up for a seller account. So there's two different options when you're signing up for a seller account. The first thing is you can get the professional plan, which is going to cost $39.99 a month plus uh, additional selling fees, which we'll talk about later. Or here's the secret right now. You can scroll down. If you click learn more here, you can actually sign up for an individual selling plan, which is free. And now the, when I say free, there is some fees associated with it. In fact, it looks like they may have moved where this is located, but there's an individual seller plan that of course they moved it right before this YouTube live. So if you scroll around here, you'll be able to find the individual. So let's try clicking sign up. So this is for the professional plan. You're going to have to sign in. And the way that this professional selling plan works is you pay $40 a month. Plus every time you sell a product, you pay a small percentage in fees around 15% in fees. So if you don't already have an Amazon seller account, you're going to want to click on, well, for me, it'd be switch accounts because I'm already logged in, but you're going to want to click on add an account or create a new account. Once you create your new account, you're going to go in here. Let me show you. I took some screenshots of what it actually looks like, and they're going to ask you a number of different questions. So one of the questions they're going to ask you is where your business location is. And even if you're outside of the United States, that's okay. You can still start an Amazon business. Doesn't matter where you're located uh, for the most part, anywhere in the world, you can still sell on Amazon US. And so then it's gonna ask for your company registration number and you can get a free registration number if you just type in EIN number uh, into Google and then It'll also ask for your business address. Now I have a detailed video that goes in how to do all this stuff. So if this seems like a lot of information, don't worry. I was overwhelmed when I first heard about all this information and you don't need to necessarily have an LLC. You don't need to have any kind of fancy business. You can even use your social security number if you're in the United States. So that's some of the business information it'll ask. It's your company registration number, uh, where your business address is. It's also going to ask for a phone number. And this is just to verify that you are a real person that you're not trying to, a lot of times Amazon has people like fake Amazon sellers that sign up. Uh, it will ask about your country of citizenship. Again, if you're in the United States, very easy. Even if you're outside the United States, don't worry. There's ways to do it. It'll ask for proof of identity, a passport or some other thing like that. Um, and it'll ask you if you're the, the owner of the business, then it's going to ask you for some billing information. So you're going to need to put in a valid bank account number. And if you don't have a bank account, first off, if you have a business, you can go into any bank pretty much. Uh, I recommend us bank is the one that I usually use. If you have your DBA or your LLC paperwork, you walk into the bank and it's very easy. They'll give you a business bank account, but there's also, I don't remember the name of them. I'll, I'll put links down below. Um, there are a lot of banks that are online banks that you can set up. Even if you're traveling or somewhere else, it doesn't matter. You can still use these. So, so there you go. US bank was mine. I, I blocked out the, the routing number and the bank account number, but you need to put in your bank account information because this is how Amazon is going to pay you. It's also going to ask for a credit card. And this is where they charge the 39.99 a month fee. As I mentioned earlier, you can always do the individual selling plan, which is free though with the individual selling plan, you have to pay $2 every time you sell an item on top of all the other fees. And so basically if you're going to be, I think is it $2? I'm, I'm pretty sure it's $2. So basically if you're going to sell more than 20 items a month, it might be $1. It might be 99 cents actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, if you're going to sell more than 40 items a month, you might as well just get the professional selling plan, which comes with a lot of other benefits. Again, I have other videos on my channel where I go into depth talking about this. So it's going to also ask some other information, asking you if you have UPC codes, asking you what you want your store name to be. A lot of people get tripped up on what their store name should be when starting to sell on Amazon. 
Don't worry. It really doesn't matter. Your store name can be whatever you want it to be. It doesn't have to be the same as your LLC. It doesn't have to be the same as your business. It doesn't have to be the same as your product. You could call it Travis's crazy products unlimited and that's totally fine. Uh, so as we go through here, ask a few other questions and you know what I realized as I'm going through all this, I, I wanted to do a quick start just to get you guys up and running, but I realized that I haven't even introduced myself. So let me make this full screen here. So for anyone that is new to the channel, my name is Travis Marziani. I'm a seven figure Amazon FBA seller. I've been selling full time as an e-commerce entrepreneur since 2013. That's like almost nine years. That's crazy. I've been doing Amazon for, I think around seven years, maybe, maybe eight years around 2013, 2014. I've been, since then I've been selling on Amazon. So I've also helped a lot of other people sell products on Amazon. That's why I got this wall full of products back here. And these are some of the products that I've sold before. I know a lot of people online teach how to sell on Amazon, but they don't actually sell on Amazon. So, uh, this is why I wanted to create this video, show you how to actually do it. So we already talked about the first step to selling on Amazon, which is creating your Amazon seller central account. You need that account to be able to sell on Amazon. So let's go into the next step, which is finding a product. A lot of people don't know what kind of a product they should sell. And if you don't know what kind of product you should sell, this video is going to be perfect for you. I'm going to talk in depth about what kind of a product you should sell, how to find that product to sell all these different things. And if you're new to the channel, you first off, if you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button. Let me know uh, that you're new to this channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what brought you here today. But one of the big things, a lot of people, when they're selling products on Amazon, there's a lot of different ways to sell products on Amazon. And the way that I recommend doing it is creating a unique product, a what I call a passion product. Sell a product on Amazon that you actually believe in. Create something new and unique. And this is actually really easy to do. I'm going to show you live how to do this here, because if you do that, you're not going to have any competition. You're going to be able to make a lot more money and it's going to be a lot more fun and a lot easier. Now, a lot of people do wholesale or retail arbitrage or private label. And if you don't know what those are, leave a comment down below and I can talk in more depth about that. But I have other videos on my channel that talk about those. So let's go into the next step, which is actually finding a product to sell on Amazon. And I do want to make a quick announcement here. And that is, if you don't know, I, I do have a training program that goes into way more depth. Uh, it's called the passion product formula. And look, you don't need to sign up for a program like this. You can I have so many free videos on my YouTube channel that if you want to learn for free, you can watch all those free YouTube videos, no problem. But the thing about joining a program like the passion product formula or, or any kind of an Amazon FBA program or any kind of course or anything like that is my goal is to fast track your success. And what makes me a little bit unique is I actually have a thousand dollar guarantee. If you join this program and you don't make you join the program, you follow all the steps, launch a product on Amazon and you don't make at least a thousand dollars profit in your first year, I will personally give you a thousand dollars. So it's a thousand dollar guarantee. So I just opened it up. Uh, this is version 3.0. There's only 21 spots left. If you're interested, go to passionprodictformula.com. I'll put a link down below uh, for the wait list. Um, though there, you don't need to join the wait list right now. You can actually just go straight here and click join the course. If you want more information, go to that website. It comes with a lot of bonuses. Not only does it come with a bunch of step-by-step -step lessons, over a hundred step-by-step lessons, you also get live weekly Q and A calls with me. So that, that's pretty cool. Plus private Facebook mastermind membership, all these different value. Literally this value I think is over $6,000, but I'm doing it for about a thousand bucks. There's also a 30 day money back guarantee. Anyways, back to the video. And I just want to let you guys know about that because there legitimately is only 21 spots left. I'm capping it at 50 people and I'm closing registration next Tuesday, no matter what. So if you're interested in fast tracking your success on Amazon, I would recommend checking out this program to learn more. I've had a thousand people go through this program. I've had a lot of success stories, a lot of people, uh, and some of the testimonials are on here. AJ, I've talked about him a lot. He did $150,000 in sales just in his first three months. That's over $50,000 of profit he made in three months. So, you know, he joined, he got a pretty good return on his, vest, in his, on his investment. All right. 
So once you have your Amazon seller account, as I mentioned, you're gonna to wanna to find a product to sell. And there's a lot of different ways to find products to sell. But what I recommend doing is something a little bit different. So I'm gonna use a website called Helium 10. Uh, some of you guys know about it. And I'll put a link to that down below. I, I do have a discount code to Helium 10 that gets you 50% off. But before I do that, actually, let me show you something here. Let's go to amazon.com. You can actually find out how much money any product on Amazon is making. And a lot of people don't know about this, but let me just show you how much money, you know, products on, on Amazon can make. So uh, let's go to Nut Butter. Uh, Nut Butter, that's actually my product right there. Woo, look at that. Um, so that's one of my products. This product's made me, done over a million dollars in sales, like 1.3, 1.2, 1.3 million dollars in sales. And let's look at, so this product right now, uh, the sales have actually dipped a little bit. It's closer to like $15,000 a month. But you know, a lot of people will tell you that, but let me actually prove it to you. If you scroll down here, you can find out how much any product on Amazon is making basically. So let's copy this number. Uh, if you go to Jungle Scout, sales estimator, so let's enter the rank. And sometimes I will be honest, this number is a little bit off. So let's see. And then we're going to select the category here. So this is 750. So we'll take that 750, multiply it by the price of the product, 27.99 times 27.99. Oh, so it's around $20,000. So almost $21,000 a month in sales. So actually, I guess it's a little bit higher this month. I haven't really been paying attention. So you can look at this one product right here is making $21,000 per month. This is a product I created like four or five years ago. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I did this, how you can create your own product. Um, one of the products that I was talking about earlier, cocktail cards. This is one of my students' products, cocktail cards. We can look it up later. You know, he's got 316 reviews, all five stars. That's pretty good. I don't remember exactly how much his sales are off the top of my head. I think he's doing 10 to 15,000 th this last month. Um, May is a little bit slower for him. May, April, a little bit slower. Anyways. I just wanted to show you that, like you can find out how much any product on Amazon is selling and for and making. So let's go over, let me show you guys. So Helium 10 is one way that you can find products to sell on Amazon. And as I mentioned, I got a discount code, 50% off link in the description. Uh, if you are gonna sign up for Helium 10, use that for sure. Look, you don't need tools to find amazing products to sell on Amazon. There is, free ways to do it. And I'll, I'll talk about some of the free ways to find products in just a minute, but I will say using tools like Helium 10 is going to speed up your results. It's going to make you get, have success faster, make you find products faster. And, and you can think about a tool like Helium 10, just like you would a nail gun. You don't need to buy a nail gun necessarily. You can use a hammer or you could even use a free rock but by paying that money for the nail gun, it's going to make you faster. It's going to make you more efficient. And what I always tell people is, look, if you're trying to build a dog house, just use a hammer. You know, you can use the free methods in this case. But if you're trying to build a mansion, if you're trying to build, trying to do this as a living, you might want to invest in the nail gun. And you don't have to. The cool thing about Helium 10 too is they do have a 30 day money back guarantee as well. So you can always try it out for 29 days. Find your products. Look, don't don't tell me when I said this. Find your products and then on day 29, be like, hey, I want my money back. Uh, but there is a lot of other benefits to Helium 10 besides just the product research. So there's a few different ways to use this tool. And I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite ways. Actually, I got a few favorite ways. So magnet tool, the Cerebro tool, and the black box tool are the three ways to find a product. Now, a lot of people go straight to black box because it does, it's under the product research category. I think, I think that's, that's a mistake. mistake. I, I think, think most, most people think about, about Amazon wrong. What, what I, I recommend, recommend doing, doing, let's look at, let's look, look at the, the magnet, magnet tool, tool first. first. The, way the way that, that Amazon, Amazon works, and most, most people don't realize this, this. Amazon, Amazon, I keep, I keep going, going to Amazon, Amazon Mexico, Mexico because uh, uh, for those that don't know, I live half the year in Mexico. I recently bought an amazing beach house in Mexico. Really excited about that, but right now I'm back in, um, Los, Los Angeles. Angeles. So, so 
the, the thing, thing that a lot of people don't realize about Amazon, Amazon and the way that it works is it's a search engine. engine. It's 99% of the way that people find products on Amazon, Amazon is through searching. searching. So, so people, people like, like I mentioned, mentioned they're, they're going to search, search for something like cocktail flashcards. Maybe, Maybe they, they want to learn how to make cocktail recipes. recipes. They're, they're going to search, search cocktail, cocktail flashcards and boom, boom. What, what product, product comes, comes up? AJ's, AJ's products, products right here. here. They're, they're going to search, search for something, something like keto, keto nut, butter. nut butter. Maybe, Maybe they're, they're on the ketogenic, ketogenic diet and they're, they're looking, looking to have a healthy snack. snack. And then, and then you, know, you know, boom, boom lots, lots of keto, keto nut, nut butters. butters. My product, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's all, all the way, the way down, down here right now. It's in like ninth place. That's okay. It's actually a little bit lower than ninth place. That's okay. But So the point I'm trying to bring up here, so let's look at the cocktail flashcards. People go to Amazon. They type things into the search bar. And then, and then what, what happens, happens they, they scroll, scroll down, down and they try, try to find a product that represents, represents what they're, they're selling. selling. So, so something happened here. here. Showing the best sellers toddler, toddler learning, learning flashcards. flashcards. Okay. okay. Someone, Someone, oh, that's, so, so and I, I want to point, point out another thing, thing here. here. Is, is this, this first, first row right, right here, here is sponsored. sponsored. So, so people, people are paying money to get to the top of the search results. results. They're, They're making, making a mistake because, because I, I typed, typed in cocktail, cocktail flashcards and all these flashcards, flashcards that have nothing, nothing to do with cocktail, cocktail showed up. But then, then underneath here, we have the organic results. results. And this, and this is, is what Amazon, Amazon thinks is, is the best result for the given search phrase. And the number one place is AJ's product, cocktail cards. And so here's the next thing to keep in mind. The higher, the higher up your product shows in the search results, the more likely someone is to actually click on your product. I mean, if you think about it, if your product's all the way down here at the bottom, most people are never going to get there. If your product's on page two, three, four, five, most people aren't going to ever get there. So what your goal is to find a product that lots of people are searching for on Amazon. So a lot, I found out a lot of people are searching for cocktail flashcards. Uh, and, and so, so I went to AJ and I said, hey, we should create this product together. I partnered with him on this product. And because he created such an amazing product, he was able to get to the top of the search results for this product. But now here's the question. How do you know how many people per month are searching for your product? You don't, unless you use a tool like Helium 10. So let's, let's type that exact thing. So what did I say? Cocktail flashcards. How many people are typing this in? And if you're a repeat viewer of the channel, you've probably seen me do this example before. Uh, I'll do some other examples soon, but this is a really concrete example. Uh-oh, I got a call right now. Hopefully, hopefully everything is good. Let's see. Oh, it looks like there's some echo. Uh, maybe. Let me know here. Let me let me see if I can fix the echo. Oh, okay. Boom. Echo fixed. I should have looked at that earlier. So thank you guys. All right. Is that a little bit better? Let me know in the chat down below. All right. So I'm going to go through all the questions as well later in this video. Um, definitely let me know if you guys have questions. Let me know also in the chat, did that save? Did that help with the echo? All right, now it's good. Cool. All right, so cocktail flashcards. So you can see 58 people per month are searching for cocktail flashcards. Uh, let's try something else because that's actually lower than I thought it was going to be. Let's try... Oops. We'll also try putting the word flash and cards together or, you know, cocktail recipe cards might be a better one. Okay. Look at, it. it's actually 493 people per month. So 493 people per month are going to Amazon. They're typing in cocktail flash cards. And so if we can get on the top of the search results for that, that means there's 493 people per month that want to buy this product. That's a lot of people looking to purchase our product. So that's the key thing here is we want to figure out how to um, basically, you know, we want to figure out how many, <laughs> sorry, I was thinking about the phone call. We want to think about how many people per month are searching for things. We need to figure out. And then once we find something that a lot of people per month are searching for, we want to try to find, we want to try to create a product that is 
around that search phrase. Now, the other key thing, so obviously we, I said, we want a lot of people per month that are searching for a keyword, but we also want to find something that there's not a lot of competition for. So when I first created cocktail flashcards with AJ, none of these other products existed. This didn't exist. This didn't exist. This didn't exist. Now we got the copycats coming in. I think that we might have to do a trademark, um, like fight against this guy because he copied the name, which you're not allowed to do. So the question is, how do you find keywords that a lot of people are searching for that, and, and when I say keyword, it's the search phrase up here. How do you find things that a lot of people are searching for in Amazon, but yet there's not a lot of competition and you can use these tools that I'm showing you right here. So the magnet tool is a good one. And what I recommend doing is you wanna find ideas that you have and put it in here. So for instance, I've, I've, I've given this example before, but cocktail book, I searched for this. Uh, let's go ahead and run a new search. I searched for this in Amazon or in, in the Helium 10. I searched for Amazon first. Then I brought it here in Helium 10. And as I went down, there's lots of different things that people are searching. And this will tell you, let's, let's take an example here. Mm. Bitters, that's a good example. So, so 19,000 people per month are searching for bidders. Now, what I always like to do when using this tool is I sort it in order of the Magnet IQ score. So the higher the Magnet IQ score is, uh, it'll be the, basically it's the highest Magnet IQ score at the top and then it goes down. And the reason is, this is basically showing you how good of an opportunity Helium 10 thinks that this keyword is, but it's not always accurate. For instance, bidders, it thinks, wow, this is such a good opportunity. Look at the search volume is 19,000 and the competing products is 781. Well, if it's got 781 competing products, that's too many. But let's click on this and this will actually show you in Amazon. And look at Free Brothers Old Fashioned Aromatic Bitters. Uh, there's a lot, of, a lot of competition here. Now, what I do recommend doing is if you have an idea that you think that you could somehow make a better bitters company, then go for it. Absolutely, you know, you should do that, but that's probably pretty saturated. So what I did is I went through and you can sort, you can show the number of uh, results as 150 rows. Go through here, let's see if it's on this page, card, bartender flashcards. So 355 people per month are searching for it, competing products 34. And so it says there's 34 competing products, but really let's take a look here. There's no competing products. None of these are competing. They're not actually bartender flashcards. This is These are books. This is a pamphlet, uh, another pamphlet. This is lots of stuff, but none of this is actually what people are searching for. So at that point, I knew that we had a winning product and I knew that this was a good idea. So what I recommend doing, that's the first free, or not freeway, you have to actually pay for Helium 10. Now Helium 10 does have a free plan, so you can always use the free plan. Uh, there's also the Cerebro tool. Now, what's cool about the Cerebro tool, this is actually a tool I'm going to start using a lot more often. Um, this tool, let's take a look here. So let's look at Performance Nut Butter again. It's my product. This tool allows you to take products and you put them in here and it'll tell you what people are searching for in Amazon to find that product. So let's take a look. The way to do this, and this is that you need to use the ASIN. So the ASIN is this number right here. You can also scroll down. You can get it right here. So the ASIN is a unique identifier of the product on Amazon. So every product on Amazon has their own ASIN number. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it in here and I'm gonna click get keywords. And I'm just gonna load this from history. So this is gonna tell you what people are searching for in Amazon to find my product. And what is interesting to me is one of the top things that people are searching for in Amazon to find my product is low carb energy gel. So let's open that up. Let's take a look here. So when people type in low carb energy gel into Amazon, this is what comes up. Now, first off, 
my product comes up, which isn't a gel. It's a nut butter. Then there's also keto gummies, which also isn't a gel. It's gummies. Then there's this Boom Nutrition Carb Boom Energy Gel, which isn't low carb. It's actually high carb. Uh, same thing here, Goo Energy Original. It's also high carb. So people that are looking for low carb energy gel, which there's a number of people that are looking for this, they can't, there's no products out there. So this is your moment. This is your sign to create this product. In fact, uh, now there's not that many people. Look at only 31 people per month are searching on Amazon, but that's something. We can actually go over here into the weird, the word frequency. Actually, no, you know what we're going to do? Phrase containing gel. Let's only show things that are containing gel. And what we see is keto gel, 44 people per month. Low carb energy gel, 31 people per month. Uh, keto running gel, 275. So if you created a keto running gel, we got 275 people per month plus the 44 people that are searching keto gel plus the 31 people that are searching for energy gel. You can make a product that is unique, that's interesting, that's different, that a lot of people would be buying. So now that's how we do uh, product research. Uh, I might show some more ways. Leave a comment if you want me to show even more ways. I do have a full video that's like an hour long that's a product research video. I'll try to link that down below as well. So now the next question you might have is, okay, cool. How would we actually create this product? And let me show you a few different ways. The first way, if it's not a food product, so I'll show you how I, we created cocktail uh, flashcards, cocktail cards. You go to alibaba.com. This is a cheat code of a website. This is such an easy website to find products to, manu or to basically be able to manufacture products. So what I recommend doing is, uh, let's block notifications, go to suppliers. And so this will let you search all over China, all over Asia, all over the place for manufacturers or suppliers of products. And what we're gonna type in is flashcards, oops. And this will show you people that create flashcards. So we got the printing factory, the Dongwon, I can't pronounce this, Hongjin uh, Printing Factory. They've been around for 15 years. They've done 57 transactions. Um, let's see, let's, let's click on them. They're a verified supplier, which is a, a big deal. That means that someone from Alibaba actually went out there and verified that they're actually a legitimate company. They have a 4.88 out of five satisfaction rating. And they make, they make books, they make all kinds of stuff here. They can make flashcards, uh, I'm willing to bet. Let's see what else we have. That's digital technology. So what I would do is I'd go through all these different manufacturers and once you click here, you can contact the supplier. You can even chat with them if you wanted to. Uh, I'm not signed in right now, I could sign in later, but I'll deal with that another time. You sign into Alibaba and you start communicating with these manufacturers and that's it. I mean, you tell them exactly what you want and they tell you how much it's going to cost. It's pretty simple. Now, let's say you were trying to create a food item or you wanted to create something in the United States. Well, then what you need to do is you need to type in whatever. Let's try keto. It's not going to be keto gel though, because no one's really making that keto gel manufacturer. Let's see what happens. Look, there's some people that are doing it, but they're not selling on Amazon, which is interesting. Keto gel medications, it's an farm and ranch. That's weird. Um, all right, so gel, gel food manufacturer. Let's try this. Food gel manufacturers. See, so we're gonna have to think outside the box here. Um, goo. Gel goo manufacturers. So you can use Google. We're gonna. It's gonna take a little bit of googling. There's also um, pack everything private label. Forget the name of it. Label as label specialties from. Let's see this one. private label food packaging. So what I would do is start picking up the phone and contacting. So look at this. This is 
the future of pouching. This is exactly what we're looking for right here is someone that can do this kind of thing. So what you got to do is let's see contract packaging. Yep. They can do all this stuff. Click contact us, give them a call. That's one of my number one tips is you always want to call these manufacturers. You don't want to just email them. You actually want to pick up the phone and give them a call. And when you do that, they might not be able to help you, but they probably can find someone that will. What I found is when I was looking for a manufacturer for Performance Nut Butter, my, one of my Amazon brands, the first place I called, they couldn't help me. The second place I called couldn't help me, but they referred me to someone that could help me. And so you got to get on the phone. You got to start calling lots of different people here. So just a recap so far, you got to first create an Amazon seller account. Second, you got to find a product to sell. And then third, you need to find a manufacturer. Now you're also going to want to get it shipped from your manufacturer into the Amazon warehouse, which is very easy to do. If you are making a product overseas, let's say in China, for instance, you're going to go here and you're going to go to, oh, look at, they've changed it up a little bit. Logistics service. And so you're going to want to hire someone uh, using logistics service. And they use a website called Fredo's, I believe. But let's see, compare rates. You click compare rates and you'll, you'll, you've you got to sign in again. And you'll give them all the information of where your package is starting from and where you want to get it shipped to. Now, if you are getting it manufactured in the United States, there is a freightquote.com is one I've used before. And you would go through here, let's say get quotes. Put in the, the city or postal code that you're getting it shipped from, put in where you're getting it shipped to, and they'll tell you how much it's gonna be. It's only gonna be like you know a couple hundred bucks per pallet. So it's not super expensive. So now that we have it shipped and we got all that taken care of, let's go to the next step, which is actually listing our product on Amazon. And so let me go into Amazon Seller Central. Let's switch accounts. Actually, oh, I got to do a two step verification. Give me one second, guys, where I, where I verify. So sometimes when you log in, they ask you to verify your account. All right. So now to add a product onto Amazon, you're going to go in here and you're going to click add a product. And if your product already exists, you're going to put in what the UPC code is. But if you're creating your own passion product, like I recommend, or you're creating your own private label product, you're not going to have a UPC code. Um, you're going to click on, I'm adding a product not sold on Amazon. And you're going to have to figure out what category you're, you're going to put your product in. So for instance, let's, let's pretend like we were doing the example of the keto uh, running gel. Let's, let's actually go look at running. What I would recommend doing is finding someone that's already selling on Amazon and seeing what category they're in. And do this, we scroll down here. Sports nutrition, energy, uh, endurance and energy chews and gels. So let's put that here. There's a lot of different ones. Let's just see what happens when I, if I go gels. Oh, that might not be the right. Yeah, okay. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Select. Let's 
Then it's gonna ask for your product ID. So you need a UPC code and you can get those by, if you type in GS1, let's see. I don't know if that's the right one. I think this is the right one. Yeah, you can go here, you can buy a UPC code. I think it's like $30, $25, $30, it's really cheap. Maybe it's $30 right now. Click get a barcode. And every product in the world has a, you pretty much every product in the world has a UPC barcode. This is when you go to the grocery store and they scan your product. This is what they're looking for here. Um, let's make sure. So then you're going to have to also put the product name. So I recommend putting like keto energy gel, put the brand name uh, and, and, for, and for the, the product name, this is what's gonna show up in Amazon. This is basically this right here. That's gonna be the product name. You'll have to put who the manufacturer is. And, and when, you, when it's manufactured, it's just you. You're the manufacturer, your brand name. So whatever your brand name is, I usually put the manufacturer also as the brand name. And then it's gonna also ask for some other information. And you're gonna have to put in things like the main image. And to load that, let's go into offer, no, images. You're gonna have to put you're gonna upload some images. Uh, you're gonna upload all these different side images. And if you need help doing that, I got a bunch of videos talking about how to get all those images. You're also going to need to put in bullet points. And so the bullet points are basically a way for you to sell the product, to talk about the benefits of your product. So to do that, you're gonna go into offer. Is that under vital information? attributes well you're, you'll go through here okay description there we go yeah so key product features these are the bullet points and you'll type out things that help sell the benefits of your product so that like they did here and that is something's going on with my live uh oh I don't know if you guys can still hear me Let's see. Mm -mm. Yeah, it seems like it's lagging a little bit. I'm not sure why the, the live is lagging. Let me know if you guys, can you still hear me at all? I'm not sure what happened here. Huh. All right, let me try fixing my frozen video. Maybe it just froze like that. All right, let's see if that's better. All right, better? Let's see. 
All right. Not sure what happened there, guys. Um, so moral of the story is you <laughs> have to upload your product here. And then from there, got to launch a product. And, and the secret to launching a product on Amazon is trying to get as many sales, as many uh, five-star reviews within the first couple of weeks as possible. So since this is a live... Um, since this is a live, I figured I'd open it up to questions. I, I saw some people asking some questions, but uh, I do want to remind everybody that there is only limited number of spots left for the program. So if you want to join the Passion Product Formula, 21 spots left, um, go to passionproductformula.com, click to join the course, closes, registration closes, closes next Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure why I'm frozen. The internet should be pretty good. It, it seems like everything's fine on my side. That's what's weird. Um, so this is what I'm probably going to do. I'm going to, I'm going to, yeah, I'll post this. So someone asked, can you could you tell also tell us the total expenses to start an Amazon FBA business? So I do have other videos where I, where I do that. Um, just check on my channel. Just type in how much Amazon FBA costs. Let's see what else there is. All right, guys. I think this was a bit of a mess today. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna I'm gonna try again. I'm actually moving to a new location in tomorrow. So I'm going to try again in a couple weeks and we'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and end this live and I'll see you guys all again later. Bye.